So now our float plan is almost prepared. We only need to add the dimensions and we need to plot this final layout. So we'll add the dimensions first. So let's get started. So right now here we don't have any dimensions added in the drawing and for that I'll go to this annotation, expand it and here we have this dimension style manager. So click on it and let's change the dimension style. So I'll go to this standard and as you can see that we don't need that one because we don't have the fit and inches convention here. So we'll make our own dimension style because none of these dimension styles are as per our own requirement. So I'll go to this ISO 25 and now I'll click on new. So that will make a new copy of ISO 25. Let's give it a name. So I'll name it as dim and click on continue. Now we need to change some parameters in this case. So I'll start with this symbol and arrow and I'll change the arrowhead to this architectural tick. Also here go to text and change the text placement to centered. That's the one which I prefer. Also I'll go to the fit tab and here we don't need to change anything. I'll go to the primary tab and here we need to change this one to architectural. So unit format should be architectural in this case. Now that's the change which we require for now. I'll click on OK and close. And now we'll start by adding the dimensions. So I'll go to this linear dimension and now click on this point. And before that we need to change the layer. So yes, make sure that you change the layer to dim. All right, now click on this point and click on this point and add the dimension. And we have some problem here. The size of dimension is very small that we need to change. So once again, go to annotation, this dimension style manager, select dim, modify, fit tab, change this overall size to five. Okay, and close. There we have it. Now it's quite clearly visible. So go to dimensions again. And as you can see that because of these hatches, we are not properly able to see the point where we are actually clicking. So we can hide these hatches temporarily for our drawing. And for that, I'll go to this drop down and click on this light bulb icon right next to this hatches. So that will hide our hatches as of now. Now we can once again go to the dimension and we can add rest of the dimensions. So here we have it, the first one. Now the second one should be here. All right, now let's go to the next one. Let's add this here. Go to this dimension again. And let's add it properly here. You can zoom into this area if required. All right, now add it here. You can take reference here. And you only need to add the dimensions which are required. You don't need to add additional dimensions which are not required or which are redundant. So here this should be added, the air vent size. And here also we need to add one more dimension here. So I'll go to this point and this point and I'll add the dimension here. So I'll move this one a little bit over here and this one a little bit over here. So there we have it. So we have all the basic dimensions in place. And these dimensions are sufficient enough to specify all of the room sizes in this floor plan. Now we only need to add a final note and we can use text tool to add that final note. So let's add it here. Okay, so let's type exterior wall thickness is 10 inches and interior wall thickness is 6 inches. So that's the note which we need to add and here also I'll change the text size to one unit or one fit and press enter, click outside and the note is now added here. And obviously we need to change it to the text layer. It is right now on the dimension layer. As you can see clearly the color is same. So I'll select this one, click on the drop down and change it to text. And now it's on the text layer. If required, you can highlight this note and to highlight that you can select it and use this bold option. But obviously in case of simplex font, you cannot do that because that's a single line font. You can do 
that with a true type font obviously so now our drawing is finally prepared for plotting and to plot this i'll first save it and i'll go to this layout one view now here we have it so simply select this viewport and remove it we don't need it now we'll start by adding the paper size so we don't know the paper size we don't know the scale we are completely unaware of everything here so let's add a paper size and for that i'll go to this layout one then right click and select page setup manager now go to modify and select the properties so i'll go to dwg to pdf the paper size is iso a3 and here is the horizontal one so that's the one which we want in this case make sure layout is selected and with these settings i'll simply click on ok and close now let's move back once again to the model space and now let's bring the hatch here so you can see that the hatch is not visible go to this drop down click on the slide bulb and that will bring back the hatch which we have removed from this drawing area temporarily for making the dimensions now let's move back to the layout all right now we'll make the viewport for that i'll go to this layout tab click on this rectangular option make a complete viewport make sure this viewport is made within this dotted boundary or this dotted margin so that's the plotter margin and anything which is beyond that plotter margin will not appear in your final output so there we have it we have the final plot here now if you want to plot this drawing as it is with the same colors you can obviously go to this plot option and do that and here we have already selected these two options we don't need to make any changes simply click on ok specify the location floor plan one save it and here we have it the final output with the same colors obviously the colors are not properly visible because we have selected light colors but if you want to plot it in black and white or in grayscale, you can do that as well so that will make this drawing quite visible for that i'll go to this print option or plot option again and in this case i'll change this plot style and i'll change it to monochrome now click on ok specify the location give it a name so let's name it as floor plan layout 2 click on save there we have it so now we have this in monochrome or black and white and you can see everything quite clearly here so in this way you can finally make your drawing add annotations and you can plot it as well so let's now move back to the model space and let's save it so i hope you have found this video series of floor plan quite helpful and if you have any questions related to any of these videos then let me know in the comment box and i'll try to answer as many questions as possible and as always thanks for watching have a great day